This is a sample of working with REST services. So we're going to create a REST service connection to an endpoint that returns a list of all the countries. So this is a get many. And we can test this REST service and make sure that we actually get the response that we need. And then um, we need to provide a sample of the return. So I'm gonna just pick one of the countries and remove the rest and just indicate this is an array, right? So save as an example. So this is our first endpoint that we are creating. And we can create uh, another endpoint for the same uh, service. Uh, so this was the uh, slash get all. We can add another endpoint, which is um, this one. So this one gets a specific country. Um, I don't need a V2 here, like that. So this one has a parameter, which is the country code. We can test this one, provide the country code, US, send a request, see the results, save it as an example. And now we have our, oh, and we need to indicate that this is gets one country. So now we have two endpoint, one gets many, one gets a specific one. Now we can go over and build a user interface. So for example, over here, we can take a table component, um, drop it on the page, add data to it from the REST service that gets all the countries. And we need the code for the country and we can then show the capital, the flag, name, for example, we can switch the flag to be an image, move it to the top. And then the primary key here is the two letter code of the country. Um, let's finish. So this one creates the list of countries. Then we can add a detail page, okay, which gets us the information about one country, okay, based on the code. Okay. Um, and again, we can choose what we want to show here. So we can do capital, all the codes, uh, the flag, and again, uh, switch the, or maybe put in like the name of the country, native name, stuff like that, population. All right. So now the way this works is I can go over, select the country, click the button, and I'll get the page where it shows the information about that country. Okay. That's basic master detail. You can also do this in the same page. So if I wanted to do this in the same page, um, I can change the UI a little bit, um, put a panel up here. Okay. Make this a little smaller, move the table into the panel like that. And then I want to be able to select a country. So I can take, for example, a hyperlink, sorry, like that, drop it, for example, on the capital. Okay, so this now becomes a link. And then what I want to do is I want to show the details over here on the right. So I'm going to drop a bunch of fields over there. Um, in a form. So let's pick up a form. So we'll pick up a panel first. Um, drop it next. Put a form. Add a bunch of fields in here. So we can have like input text and another input text. And we can put another one like that. And then I can bind those to a variable. So to do that, um, we can go over and say we need a type from an endpoint. The endpoint is basically the one that we get from getting a specific country. So the response. So we'll call this country type. Then we create a variable 
from this type, call it selected country, which would be of this country type. And then in the page designer, we can say, okay, this field is going to have the data coming from the selected country, um, let's say area. This one would be from the selected country uh, native or name. And this one can be from the selected country um, native name, for example. Okay, so we have the fields mapped up. Now all we need to do is when we click this button with this link, okay, we need to do an event. So we go define an event on click. What we need to do is we need to call the REST service, right, that gets us a specific country. So this would be this REST service. Okay. Uh, the code in here would be the value or the key that we have from the row. Okay. This is what we're passing in as a parameter. And then after the rest succeed, we're going to assign the results from the rest. So the result from the rest are basically this variable. We have the country, which is the same structure, so we can take the body, map it over. Right. So now if we switch this page to live view and we click Pago Pago, we get information about Pago Pago. Click the valley, we get information about that. And that's basically it. That's how you get this thing to work.